Hello, my name is Zankur um, and I'm based out of New Delhi, India. I have been working on a war on Trident based tool changer concept that I've been sharing some updates on. Um, I think we are at that stage in the project where uh, the, uh, the build is more or less completed and uh, we are ready for the final phase of testing. So we're going to take a um, few minutes to give you an overview of the machine, the, the way it works, uh, any specific requirements that uh, are there for a build like this. Um, to start off, this build does not use any metal um, milled or CNC parts. It essentially is comprised completely of uh, 3D printed uh, parts and normal hardware. So you do not require anything specific to be ordered um, like uh, some of the other tool changer concepts that are out there. This is a 350 by 350 uh, Voron Trident build uh, with uh, a belted Z that I developed and uh, the Z kinematic being rotated 90 degrees to allow for the uh, back extrusion to be empty for us to mount the tools. Um, in addition, the, the carriage is a custom carriage um, for the tool changer and uh, each of the tools is um, either a Dragon or a V6 hot end with uh, a Sherpa Mini uh, direct drive uh, mounted on top of it. Um, the locking mechanism was developed by uh, Zib on the Voron Discord for uh, his Woodpecker tool changer concept and it's based on a servo that uh, brings um, the clamp up and down based on uh, the requirement uh, which allows us to uh, take the tool and lock it into the um, into the carriage. Uh, the way it locks is that um, there are a couple of uh, um, notches on each of the tools that you can actually see here which get uh, clamped onto uh, between the uh, carriage as well and the um, and a spring loaded uh, v6 nozzle uh, set which locks the tool in place and uh, uh, and then makes for a highly repeatable uh, location for the nozzle to fall back in every time a tool change is done. Um, in addition, the um, I modified uh, the the concept uh, from the woodpecker tool changer to allow for uh, greater docking uh, force to be there uh, to allow for excellent uh, wire loops that stay in place. Um, and uh, do not uh, uh, fall uh, to the side like the normal umbilicals. And uh, um, also um, I made some changes to the carriage to allow for um, repeatable um, alignment of the, of the tool with uh, the carriage, uh, which um, uh, were some of the issues that I encountered in the V1 build of the tool changer based on the woodpecker concept. Um, the the wire management for the tools has been done using uh, piggyback boards uh, mounted on top of each of uh, the um, tools uh, which is um, advisable but not required and uh, the ptfe management is done in a way that uh, the whole um, machine can actually be enclosed using a top hat um, all the um, wire looms come back the uh, on the inside of the extrusion on the top so you can actually just build a top hat and uh, have this uh, whole printer be enclosed um, to allow for uh, high temp printing um, if needed um, in um, addition to that the um, the system uses a 5015 part cooling fan and each of the tools has its own hot end fan that is on the um, right side um, Currently, I have three Dragon and three uh, V6 base tools that uh, I would uh, be testing with. Uh, I've done an a couple of initial tests on this uh, machine and the repeatability um, on the tools is excellent. 
Um, a couple of the um, issues that I faced during the final phase of testing that um, uh, required me to make uh, some of the uh, adjustments in um, the build were um, uh, the addition of um, high amperage stepper motors on the X and Y. Um, so these are like 2.5 amp um, motors that um, I can um, push uh, 1.8 amps on during the tool chain sequence um, that um, um, gives it enough torque to pick up the tool in spite of the resistance with the dock. Because if you look at the docks, they essentially are um, extremely um, strong in terms of magnet, you know, magnetic uh, force and keeps the tool in place even with the um, recoil uh, from the wire loom that is uh, there. Um, this was required to get uh, the, um, the excellent wire loom repeatability um, and, and shape, um, but it requires a bit of uh, more uh, talk from the XY uh, steppers to um, detach the tool from uh, the dock. Um, in addition, um, the servo that I'm using, which is the high-tech uh, HS82MG, has uh, a habit of being uh, extremely noisy and uh, burning out if um, there is um, if it gets stuck in terms of uh, the movement. So what I've done is I've added a relay um, in uh, the in the circuit sequence. Uh, to power on the um, servo whenever the tool change is needed. At all other times, the servo actually remains shut off. Um, that's hopefully protecting the servo from uh, damage. Um, so that's those are the changes that uh, I had to do um, in addition to all the other changes that I did um, to adapt the Woodpecker tool changer system to, um, to its current format that you see here. Um, I would uh, be finishing up this project hopefully within the next week or so, uh, do some test prints and then release out the files. Um, one caveat is that I don't have any CAD files. I uh, would not know uh, how to design in CAD uh, or proper CAD program um, to save my life. Um, so all I know is Tinkercad um, and this is all based on Tinkercad. Any, any and everything, every change that has been done here has been based, uh, has been built in Tinkercad. So um, the CAD files would not be there, but uh, I would have the STL files uh, for the carriage, for the tool uh, available. I have also built a Voron tap based uh, version of the carriage, um, which um, I believe should be sturdy enough um, with the recent changes that I've done, um, but I've not tested it out. So if someone wants to test it out, uh, they sh should be able to um, just take those uh, files and um, uh, test out the Voron tap uh, based um, carriage instead of the normal inductive proof then, that I'm using right here. So um, that's, that's essentially an overview of the machine and uh, the build. If uh, there are any questions or uh, any uh, other info that I can actually um, share to, um, to give um, more clarity on, uh, on how the build is being done, um, or how the build actually um, um, is is put together. Um, the uh, please please ask them in the comments, and I would be uh, glad to actually answer them. Um, as you can see, um, the the whole uh, idea behind um, the tool changer concept uh, was to have um, both a, a highly repeatable, easy to build, no special hardware and um, good looking tool changer, both in terms of uh, the, um, the way it, it uh, uh, looks um, on, on, the, on the carriage side, on the tool side, as well as the overall uh, presentation in terms of the wire looms, the PTFE management. Um, I, I think we have been able to achieve that more or less. There would be um, more uh, refinements that will come in as uh, as the project progresses but um, i think we're in a good space um, and i feel um, that we should be um, able to finally test it uh, with uh, uh, a good print uh, a, a few good prints over the next uh, week or so and and then release the files out um, so hopefully this has been um, 
um, good information for you guys. And uh, if there's any questions, um, please uh, ask them in the comments. I'll be uh, glad to answer them. Um, and um, keep safe out there. Take care. Bye.